Okay guys, so we got a service engine light soon code, or service engine light soon um, light on. This is a 96 Chevy, so let's go ahead and turn the key on and check this out. And I told you guys more and more, I want to show you what multiple codes mean. Um, because uh, a lot of times you get multiple codes and, and you're being told that you have multiple items wrong. This vehicle is going to be a prime example of what I mean. So I have two codes here. I don't know if you can see that or not. DTCs in the ECU is two. That's our two codes. So let's hit OK on the scanner here. I have the other scanner I was using, but uh, this one was a little bit easier so that you can see what's going on. So now it's going to grab those codes. Probably ask me what kind of vehicle this is, manufacturer. And we're going to put GM. Now we have a P0107 code, manifold absolute pressure, circuit is low, and let's scroll down. We have another code that's camshaft to crankshaft positioning correlation fault. So here, most, most places are going to want to do a couple things for you. They're going to want to tell you we need to remove your intake manifold and we need to fix uh, the leak that you have on your intake. And on these trucks, if you know anything about them, you have a lower intake and an upper intake very expensive process the other thing is the position correlation fault these guys are going to want to change a camshaft or crankshaft sensor you know how expensive those can be and you know i hate changing sensors never had to yet came across hundreds of them that had fault codes never once have i changed one yet right there's always something else so uh, I happen to know what is the common denominator between the two of these. So let's get up under the hood here and, and check this thing out and get this, this light cleared simply, right? Okay guys, so here we are, it's a 5.7. Now we have a circuit low manifold pressure, right? That's air going into the intake. Now the ECM can change that at any time it wants that it sees that there's a situation or a problem with the vehicle. Number two, we had a camshaft or crankshaft sensor. Um, issues. So again, you take this to a crappy mechanic, one that's trying to screw you up, you're going to end up buying two things, right? You're going to buy a camshaft sensor and a crankshaft sensor. What's the common denominator between the two of those? Well, there's a timing chain that runs them both, right? So we're going straight to timing. Now the other thing was the electrical circuit voltage was low. Once again, we're going to timing. So my guess is it's the distributor cap. There's an issue with the distributor cap. So check this out. Can you see that move? The screw is loose on the front side of this cap right there. That's going to throw the timing and that's going to throw both these codes. Once again, like I always say, do not change a freaking sensor. Check out your codes, find the common denominator. If you have one code, we can isolate it. Sometimes that takes longer. When we have two, three, four, five codes, we can find out this problem a hell of a lot easier because it's normally what? One problem throwing all the codes. So I hope this video helps you out. I'm going to throw a screw in that bad boy. Please click like. Please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And I'm going to do a whole lot more with these uh, trouble codes, the DTC codes, because it seems like there's so many common denominators that I can immediately go to because I know the situation, but a lot of people are having to break it down or they're going into automobile places and they're wanting to charge them for each individual one. This one here, uh, lower intake manifold, you're talking, I don't know, maybe four or $500, couple of sensors, you're, you're out the door about eight, $900 for a freaking screw, right? As always, guys, enjoy.